Hello friends, welcome to the Cellular Institute YouTube channel. Today we discuss about blockchain. What is actually a blockchain? Although the first blockchain was implemented in 2008, the history of this concept goes back to 1990. The easiest way to understand a blockchain is to think of it as a database. This can actually be called a distributed database because it acts as a distribution database for the information. A database is a set of data stored in a computer system. When an information set is collected, saved in the block and the capacity of the stored block is full, that block joins the previous block in order as a chain. As new data is added, a new block is created and the chain is extended. That is how a blockchain is formed. For example, a cryptocurrency like Bitcoin requires thousands of servers to store its blockchain. Most of these server computers do not operate in one place. Servers that belong to different people in different places around the world but operate towards a common goal. These thousands of computers that store the blockchain or computers that run the network on the blockchain are called nodes. To store the contents of a blockchain database, you need to have 51% simple majority. This means that if the majority comes to an agreement, the block will be stored in the database or the blockchain. The contents of the blockchain database are shared to the nodes throughout the network. Everyone in the network will have the immediate copy, so no one will be able to change the data. Okay, what do you know about blockchain, cryptocurrency and Bitcoin? First blockchain was developed by Satoshi Nakamoto. That is the Bitcoin most well-known cryptocurrency. All Bitcoin transactions from 2009 to date are listed in the Bitcoin blockchain. Each block in the chain has a timestamp and that block is linked to the hash of the previous block. A transaction is recorded after reaching to an agreement by at least half of the network. Bitcoin blockchain is considered a very secure and trustworthy because everyone gets a copy of the blockchain ledger. Bitcoin is stored as an address in wallets. This address is a public key consisting of 34 characters. You only have a 64 character private key, so there's no threat even though anyone knows the public key. Now, let's see the usages of blockchain technology. Blockchain applications are rapidly being developed by companies and trying to solve real-world problems using blockchain. Blockchain solutions already started with Microsoft, IBM, Amazon, etc. In addition to digital currencies, there are several areas where blockchain technology can be potentially used. Money transfer. This can be done in seconds without giving time to the validation processes of the banks unnecessarily. Regarding copyright and royalty protection, there is clear room for use for copyright and royalty protection as content creators can easily and quickly find royalty distribution. What about title transfers? In title transfers especially, by storing information about property, land and vehicle owners in a blockchain, everyone will be able to work very transparently and clearly. Regarding medical records, no further paperwork is required for medical record and provides convenience and security. How about the benefits of blockchain? When it comes to the benefits of blockchain, the first thing that comes to mind is transparency. 
every user connected to the public blockchain receives a copy of the ledger which ensures transparency we must admit that the security of the blockchain is at its maximum non-repudiation it is a very important benefit of not being able to refuse later what you did already that means you can never say that you didn't do a modification or a transaction because everything is recorded in the blockchain the risk of an external or internal attack is very low as no modification can be made without a simple majority or the group consensus once a record is added to the blockchain it will be saved forever you cannot go back and change it it is called immutable transactions take place immediately which means that when you buy something the ownership of the relevant object is transferred immediately and the relevant transaction is recorded in the blockchain okay what are the limitations the biggest limitation of blockchain is the difficulty of implementing it due to its complexity. A talent market for this technology has not yet been developed. A large user base is required for this to work at optimum. There is a risk of being attacked by bots. Let's assume that somehow bots get a 51% majority, giving them the ability to control the blockchain as they wish thanks a lot guys for joining silverine studio youtube channel let's meet again very soon with an another video